Hello guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Today I want to show you something much, much different than I normally do. I was working with a design for a modern house and I ended up playing around with some colors and textures that I typically don't play around with. So what I want to show you today is a lounge or uh, rather a nightclub that I dubbed Club Hypermind. So I guess I'll show you and you can probably hear the music faintly from here. Let's go and check it out. Oh snap, this looks pretty neat. What's inside? Check that mic, make sure it sounds right, boy. So here we are, Club Pipe of Mine. Look guys, before I walk you through the bill, first I want to give a very sincere and huge thank you to Alban Ackers. I was searching for some music for this video and uh, I found some, but I was complaining about how expensive it was and he actually bought me the licensing. So Alban Ackers, I really appreciate it, man. So this is Club Pipe of Mine. Let me, let me start off by going what I was thinking when I did this. This is not going to be a typical Minecraft indoors because it's uh, it's just a little bit different. I wanted to get something together that I could show you guys. First of all, I'm using Sortex Fanvare, which has the custom paintings for like the speakers and stuff. This was just part of the pack, so I ended up using them, and it came out really good. Uh, right down here, way below down here, I have a minecart that's hooked up making a clock to give the pulsating effect to some of the lights underneath all the stained glass for a dance floor and behind here I used a bunch of uh, paintings for mirrors and some speakers as well. As you can see these note blocks right here I have hooked up to the same clock, well to different clocks actually, uh, just to produce the note block effect and if I actually had my sounds enabled you would hear uh, the drum beats because I actually haven't placed them on cobble. Uh, so it would give you a good idea of the kind of things you can do in this scene just for the ambience. Uh, also, the stained glass panes that I used, the purple color, and it makes a really, really cool looking table stand, like real modern or futuristic table stand for uh, the type of lounge that this is. Uh, and last but not least, the little couches that I did with quartz and purple wool. Now, this design, it kind of, uh, the purple wool shows on the outside of the couch so you really has have to have something for a base so the speakers did a great job with that um, and the next is the bar now I wanted to give the bar a cool little look something that you would step up to in one of these high profile cities and this is kinda what I came up with I got some purple wool underneath some purple stained glass with a purple back border for wool here and it came out really good and last but not least I have a little uh, refrigerator set here. I didn't put the automatic dispenser in even though I could, but I did use the suspense dispenser for uh, <laughs> drink dispensers so you can, um, you can dispense drinks out onto the bar and they just float there. So it's a really, really cool effect that I thought would be perfect for this kind of scene. Um, I really like to use something like this in maybe a little machinima, so hopefully that'll come in the future. But that's about it for the, the build, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the little uh, Minecraft Indoors episode. And next time we come back, I'll show you something uh, unique and different, hopefully. So thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, this is Ulgen signing off. Have a good one.